What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another videos, man. So, we got to talk about what happened on Monday Night Raw involving the Bloodline and Judgment Day, surprisingly. Shout out to everyone that was watching the, uh, the Raw live stream. We appreciate uh, y'all, you know, stopping by, man. Uh, we always love when you guys show up, you know. It makes the Raws that much better. Um, but before we get into this whole Bloodline Judgment a uh, temporary alliance we got to talk about the cody rose brock lesnar segment or situation pretty much cody comes out there with you know he you know he comes out there ready to fight pretty much like what you going what's the word brock are we doing this like what's happening alan pierce comes out there trying to calm down the situation cody's like all right you know it you're right and then cody proceeds to get a steel chair and he's like yo i'm 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 ready for war I want Brock come on out here. Let's get this going. Then of course Adam Pierce gets a whole bunch of JAGs. If you don't know what JAGs are, just another guy. Whole bunch of JAG security individuals. I just want to know where these security individuals were were when Cody was catching the beats a couple weeks ago. They weren't there. But yeah. Whole bunch of JAGs come out there trying to calm down Cody. Cody says, screw Zach, goes rogue on the JAGs, trying to get to Brock. And as he's about to get to Brock, a whole bunch of other JAGs come out of nowhere because Brock comes out there with his uh, Jeepers Creepers jacket and, and hat on. He's just laughing, smug about it. And it was just one of those things where it's like, they're teasing it. Obviously, they don't want them to have any contact yet, but they're teasing it. And, you know, it was a cool little segment because we all want to see Brock catch them goddamn hands. And Cody goes back in the ring and he's like, yeah, man, you, you, you ain't no damn cowboy. You're pretending to be a cowboy. You know what you are? You a bitch. Nah, I wish he would have said that, but he called him a coward. He's not no cowboy. He's a coward. So they're building it up. Hopefully they do the right thing. Allow Cody to get the dub here, man. He needs to win to gain that momentum going back after Roman for those championships. But that's that little situation I definitely wanted to talk about now. The bloodline and what's going on with them. So they start off the show with the Usos and, and Solo in the ring or whatnot. And, you know, they're, you know, Paul's doing his, his normal spill. Then you hear the Judgment Day music hit. And I'm like, huh. What's going on here? They're looking like they're, you know, they mean business. It's 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 very interesting to see two heel factions interacting with each other. They get into the ring, Jimmy and, and Jay, they ready to go. Solo, stoic, Paul Heyman, you know what I'm saying? He he knows something or whatnot. They get in the ring or whatever. And uh Damian Priest ends up shaking Paul Heyman's hand after he's looking at the solo. Because solo, he He's just, he he wants all the smoke. So, Jimmy's confused on what's going on here. Jimmy's very confused. Because he's like, bro, what's going on here? I didn't know what's happening here. And basically, Paul, is he pretty much says, well, the only people that knew about this situation that we got going on with the Judgment Day or whatnot, bringing them out there or whatnot, is Roman... Paul and Solo. Keep in mind of that. But basically what's going on is Roman wanted a temporary alliance. He wanted to help out the Judgment Day with their Rey Mysterio, the LW, uh, the uh, Latin World Order group or whatnot, and the Bad Bunny. That was originally what he said. He should have said all this, but Paul originally said, we will help you with your Bad Bunny situation and you guys help us with our Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Matt Riddle situation. So they pretty much just swapped baby faces that they need to quote unquote eliminate. Now, when I initially heard this, I was like, well, that kind of doesn't make sense. Bad Bunny's not really a wrestler. Damian Priest seemed like he took care of him just by himself. So that's one. Why would the bloodline need... Well, why would Judgment Day need the bloodline to handle up on one guy that's not even a wrestler? I'm confused. And even if you add Ray in the L, uh, the, the 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 Latin World Order, that would make a little bit more sense if they if he said that originally, because that's more people, so they may need some help there. But at the end of the day, it just didn't make sense. And even for the bloodline, 
why would they need the help of judgment day considering <laughs> considering this is you know one uh, thing why would they need help when they just solo previously on smackdown damn sent fucking matt real to the gulags and they've been feuding with the usos i mean they've been feuding with uh Sami Zayn and kevin owens before wrestlemania and they've been going back and forth so i'm confused on what's going on here why would they need to help each other when the, the respective opponents that they're trying to take care of they've been either succeeding or having a little bit of trouble that it's not like they've been getting destroyed and then also which i'm glad that they brought up because finn balor is the only one in the group mostly not really too keen on helping romans like bro finn balor's had to deal with the bloodline at one point we ain't gonna forget uh i believe i think that was maybe at extreme rules uh not last year it's the year before last 2021's extreme rules i think where he was flopping like he he was the demon and he was flopping like a fish a dead fish and then uh, mysteriously the top rope broke before he was about to quote unquote maybe win the match against roman we ain't forget about that he ain't forget about that so and that's when he was a baby face so i don't know and i know i'm glad that paul mentioned that but to me it kind of got convoluted because all they did was just switch baby faces on who they needed to attack. That was it. That's all they really did was switch. And I was I was kind of confused on that. But ultimately, um, it was still an interesting segment. I think the one thing you can take away from the segment is the fact that Jimmy and Jay, they didn't know that Roman had enlisted help from the judgment day he wanted paul Heyman to relay that message they didn't know that and that's very interesting and very telling and i also like the fact that uh paul wanted uh jay to switch with solo so solo could be next to him and then that's when Rhea, she was locked eyes with solo it's like they want to fight each other but i, I know wwe's not about to do that or are they equal rights equal fights but either way i did like that i did like just the aspect of that story if they just would have kept that, and you didn't even have to include the Judgment Day into this, but if they would have just kept the story of uh, Jimmy and Jay not being in the loop as much as Solo and Paul Heyman is, that's the that's the best part of this whole scenario. And then, of course, Ray ends up facing Solo afterwards. Ray catches the beats. It was a pretty good match. He ends up catching the beats and whatnot. Then, uh, um. Uh, the LWO, they come out there because, uh, you know, you know, they it's like they just be waiting for Ray to just about lose type shit. They come out there, beat up the Usos, and then as Ray, you know, loses the match, then they proceeded to get beat up by the Usos and Solo. They got destroyed. Everybody from the, L, uh, uh, the Latin World Order got destroyed, including Ray. And then at the end of the show, when we're having the six-man tag and, and Rhea gets uh, um, kicked out or whatever, um, uh, kicked out uh, by ringside or whatnot, fun match, fun match, uh, Matt Riddle ends up picking up the win for him. And I do like that because Solo didn't get pinned or whatever. But I, uh, not Solo, uh, but I do like that because it's a situation where it's like, the judgment day even though they you know what i'm saying supposed to be this you know they were enlisted in the help of the bloodline they ultimately didn't get the job done they didn't get the job done and taking care of this Sami Zayn, kevin owens and matt riddle situation matt riddle ends up getting the pin victory um and then at this point it was just a massive brawl the lwo comes out there ray comes out there because you know obviously sammy and kevin owens and uh and matt riddle they started getting jumped they were they were getting jumped by the usos and solo they came out there to re for reinforcement and that's when the lwo <laughs> and uh and ray came out there to even things up and it just became a huge brawl and i enjoyed that for what it was so i think it's a little bit convoluted i think you just needed to keep the judgment stuff separate the bloodline stuff separate let them do their own separate things have their separate feuds and go from there unless you plan on doing something with them and that made sense i think this was a little bit convoluted the story should still be more focused on 
Jimmy and Jay not realizing that Roman is is doesn't care for him, doesn't really rock with them as much. They're not realizing that. The only people he cares for now is Paul and Solo. That should be the thing that they really focus in on more than this whole you beat our enemies, we beat your enemies, everybody wins. So I don't know. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. Let me know what you guys thought of Monday Night Raw tonight. If you guys enjoyed it, I know for me, it wasn't that bad. It was okay. You know what I'm saying? It was, uh, you know, some pretty good matches on the show here and there. So let me know what you guys thought of the show. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube, wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.